Pastor Convener, Mr. Mark, and Manfred, Managing Director of the Institute of Cultural Diplomacy, Your Excellency Ambassadors, members of the diplomatic community, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure and an honor for me to address you this afternoon. I wish to start by thanking Mr. Mark Manfred for his kind words of introduction and for affording me this opportunity. It is my understanding that one of the key objectives of this institution is to create a platform uh, to promote intercultural uh, dialogue at all uh, levels. This is a memorable objective and should be supported as it creates a basis for better understanding of our um, diverse cultures. It is also my understanding uh, that most of um, the programs uh, that the Institute implements are targeted uh, at youth. You may be aware that Africa has a youthful growing uh, population. According uh, to Africa's um, uh, reveal, a UN uh, population of uh, Africa, there are uh, over 200 million youth uh, between the ages of uh, 24, 15 and 24 across uh, the continent. The youth represents Africa's uh, best uh, development asset, but also it is the greatest challenge uh, because um, of the urgent need to create sustainable employment uh, opportunities. My own country, uh, Botswana, is um, no exception. One major challenge um, uh, facing us is to develop programs uh, for Botswana uh, youth to empower them uh, to compete globally and make them better uh, global uh, citizens. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been asked to share my thoughts on the concept of cultural uh, diplomacy. I have no doubt in my mind that most of you among the audience here are more knowledgeable about this subject uh, than myself. Therefore, I'll be very brief in defining a cultural uh, diplomacy and uh, would rather I speak more in detail about cultural uh, di diplomacy of my country, Botswana, with which uh, I am more uh, familiar. Even that, I can't say I know it all, but uh, I know if I'm more familiar with it than other people's um, yeah, cultural diplomacy. My understanding of cultural uh, diplomacy, um, a, a type of um, a public diplomacy that uh, includes the exchange of ideas, values, uh, traditions, information, 
and art and other aspects of uh, culture among nations and their perhaps in order to transfer and foster a mutual understanding um, that strengthen relations, enhances uh, socio-cultural uh, cooperation, and promote national uh, interest. After all, we are not beasts. We are people, and we must interact. And even animals, I think it's an, it's an attribute given to all animals that when they meet, uh, you can see uh, uh, they don't have the, 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 the advantage you have of smiling and laughing, uh, but uh, they still, you can see the expression, uh, physical expression, that there's enjoyment in being involved in the society uh, of creatures which are, are akin to, your, uh, to yourself. It is more action-oriented than any other kind of diplomacy, hence it can have um, a huge impact. Um, the goal of cultural diplomacy is um, to influence your audience and win a support uh, for national uh, interests and priorities. It is um, intended to leverage uh, the policies that the nation pursues in order to move forward uh, political diplomats, uh, diplomatic and socio-cultural agenda. Therefore, culture defined uh, the uh, identity of the nation Culture, cultural diplomacy is critical in promoting uh, international understanding. It is uh, within this context uh, that I wish to highlight a few moments about uh, Botswana, uh, which I hope will influence you positively uh, towards us as a nation. And thus, encourage greater cooperation uh, uh, between us. I'm also hoping that at um, the end of it all, I will have um, kindled your interest uh, to know more about uh, my country, and that I will have um, convinced you uh, to find time uh, to visit uh, uh, Botswana. Um, we haven't got much to offer by way of um, other resources, but we have a beautiful country, a beautiful country. Uh, make sure uh, it's in your agenda uh, to have a slot for that visit to Botswana. Uh, we can take you to the north and they see the fauna and the flora of the country. We can take you to the deep south and south and wide south of part of Botswana uh, to see um, uh, the desert and see the beauty of the desert, the dunes, the animal that managed uh, to live there and uh, I'm sure you'll find that fascinating. I little realized how beautiful our country was until one day, listening to a radio, I had the opportunity to hear the Minister of Culture defining just what beauty you can find in the desert. I wish I had tape recorded that and I was able to play you to play it to you, to play to you there here now, because you would all uh, put it on our agenda for 19, 2015 uh, to get uh, to uh, our desert. Ladies and gentlemen, as a nation, our society is founded 
on principles of um, consultation, unity, development, democ democracy, and the concept called BOTU. But it's a concept that um, we as Africans, and us in particular in the South, um, the Bantu people, as you call ourselves, we have the concept of uh, Bhutu. It varies according to our dialects. We call it Bhutu, we call it Buntu, yeah, but um, it's um, uh, the concept of a, a well-finished a person, a person in whom you find all the ideals that you wish to find in a human being. If you like, a perfect person if ever there was one. So that's, uh, those qualities, a whole assembly of them, that constitute Bhutu. That distinguish us from animals. That even distinguish us even from other people, we wish they had those qualities, and perhaps as much as they also wish we had their qualities. But really, between our concept, doesn't only apply to us, but it should be applying to all human beings. The principles have been uh, translated into Entrenchment of democracy, rule of law, transparency, good governance, and our, in our everyday life. We are proud um, of our country's uh, standing as uh, the oldest uh, democracy on the African continent. And uh, uh, the respect we have, uh, we have earned among the world's multi-party uh, democracies. In one, in line with um, our democ democratic principle in Botswana, uh, Botswana, Botswana held her 11th general uh, elections in 19, uh, in 2014. Um, that's the election since we became independent in 1966. We have held 15, uh, five years yearly, five years uh, uh, elections, or elections that after every five years uh, since then. And we have had a peaceful change of government, uh, we have not yet had any uh, president in power or out of power uh, uh, trying to grab uh, the bridle, the, the thread, the reins uh, from um, uh, the president in, in the state house. We have tried to show there is life after a state house. You can be a farmer. And we have one in front of you now. This demonstrates practice of holding elections every five years. Um, is um, a family entrenched in our society such that we cannot have it any, in an, any other way. As already indicated, Earlier in my speech, Botswana has a, a youth population uh, with more than 65% um, uh, of the population under the age of uh, uh, 35, a youthful country. In addressing uh, these challenges of youth, uh, we or, um, uh, recognized uh, that culture plays an important uh, uh, role 
um, through which youth sees themselves as the role players with the ability to engage um, uh, the world. Um, indeed, in the words of our founding uh, president, a nation without a culture, a nation without culture is a lost nation. It is in this respect that deliberate decision was taken uh, to create a ministry of uh, youth, sports, and culture in order to promote cultural exchanges. I believe uh, the embassy, uh, in collaboration with your institute, um, um, is in collaboration with your institute in this um, uh, regard. In fact, before we came in, um, uh, Mr. Manford, uh, Fred gave me a, a, a talk on this, and uh, he almost, almost uh, made me join uh, there and then. Um, but uh, as I was, I was with my officials, they would uh, quickly say, how dare you do it without uh, consulting us first? And I, I suspect that's the only uh, uh, restricting uh, thing now. Otherwise, I would have given a nod because it's so tempting when he sells it uh, uh, to you. Botswana has taken a, a stand uh, to protect and uh, promote um, cultural heritage uh, sites as a nation uh, we beamed with the pride and a sense of um, um, achievement when the Okobango Delta was uh, inscribed as um, the 1,000th uh, World Heritage Site in Qatar early uh, last year, becoming the second site in Botswana uh, after the Zodilo Hills that was inscribed in 2001. I suspect a lot more could have been inscribed if only people knew a little more uh, about uh, Botswana, because I believe that uh, as very many places, uh, like uh, the one that have been recognized, that need uh, recognition. Bid you to them, bid 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 them to you, and bid you to them, to, so that um, you can go and uh, tell the world uh, what uh, they little know. Tourism has been identified as one of uh, the priority areas uh, to diversify the economy uh, from the mining uh, sector. This sector has um, the potential to provide uh, successful employment and sustainable employment and um, investment opportunities uh, for our people as well as for our investors who would like to um, um, put their investment uh, in that um, uh, sector. But, uh, you, you, little, you have to be warned beforehand uh, because also we are environmentalists. We don't want any um, um, investment that will uh, spoil uh, what we are trying to, uh, to, to sell. We are happy that um, the standard, uh, ma the, the sustained marketing of our tourism here in Germany has uh, placed Germany's second largest source of tourists for Botswana uh, from Europe. But we also believe 
investment in tourism should be balanced, sustainable, and in conjunction with our culture uh, and, um, and nature. In this regard, uh, the next generation needs uh, to profit and benefit uh, from our uh, natural uh, resources. We are very much aware that Botswana doesn't only belong to this generation, but uh, to future generations. And uh, any one generation must not begrudge uh, the interest and rights of uh, future generations. Therefore, um, preserving, protecting, preserving and protecting uh, them is, uh, an is not an option, but a must. This is even more relevant and necessary today than ever uh, before. In addition, um, Botswana, Botswana are the people of Botswana. Botswana have a, a rich culture of communicating um, uh, through songs, dance, and property. I know the Basotho and um, uh, other boundary tribes in, uh, in the other parts of uh, Sarek think they can beat us, but we suspect uh, on the open ground we would stand our own. <laughs> As the African playwright, Olio Sianke, once said, what politics uh, de demonizes, culture humanizes. What politics demonizes, culture uh, humanizes. In that regard, through a song, a dance, a poem, cultural diplomacy has the ability to circum, uh, circumnavigate uh, politics and uh, navigate uh, the uh, con con navigate and contextualize values and humanity. We, we have um, a man in our history, of recent history, we have many of them in the past history, but we have a man called Ratia Setaku. Uh, whether you're a politician or a religious, a priest on the uh, stage, you always find you can quote him. The man has never seen the inside of a classroom, uh, but you know, uh, he's a human being. He has the potential uh, even to come up with the talents that education has no, had not uh, had a role uh, to polish. I understand that um, some of you uh, were privileged to enjoy, or should I say some of you uh, gave uh, the pri privilege of hosting you uh, in Botswana and seeing the culture at its best in um, uh, the 48th anniversary of independence celebrations. Uh, I am very proud to say our songs and dance all um, uh, relay some kind of message, whether to beg, to reprimand, to praise, 
or appreciate. I hope that now that uh, Botswana has um, achieved the important milestone of establishing an embassy, embassy here, you'll be able to enjoy more of our culture firsthand uh, here in, in Berlin. In conclusion, I wish to reiterate that with the cultural diplomacy, we can accomplish a lot. Cultural diplomacy can help nations uh, to better understand each other and foster relations and mutual understanding in the way it can uh, contribute um, to tolerance and respect uh, for diversity of human rights, global peace, and um, their stability. We look forward to working with um, ICD Berlin and other cultural institutions and organizations to create and um, uh, uh, influence, positive influences using uh, what, what every nation has um, uh, the culture. I thank you for your for your attention. Dankeschön.